welcome to Baking with G. It's pretty much like cooking with G, but we're gonna be baking. Today, I do have a live audience. So my father's actually watching me today. He is my live audience. Say hi, Papa. Hello. So today, I'm gonna be making a Lego cake for Michael Scott, which you guys probably saw, and I think it's Pizza Vlog 2. It's part three. He's the guy who made the pizzeria out of Legos, and his birthday's on Saturday, so I figured I'd make him a Lego cake. Um, I've never made one before. This is the spoiler alert. So I thought I'd just take you guys along the ride with me. If it comes out great, awesome. If it comes out bad, hopefully we just had a good time doing it. So let's get mixing. The one thing I hate about baking is you gotta do a lot of math, so I have to do like half a cup, half a cup, half a cup, so like a cup and a half, like you know. I didn't study for this, so sometimes I get a little anxious. Say hi. Hey. How are you feeling one week after the McDonald's? Lost all the weight. Oh, really? Close. Oh, awesome. Then, we're gonna make like Michael Jackson and beat it. <laughs> How do you say this in Italian? Zbatte? Zbatte, zbatte, no. What is, what is zbatte? Zbatte. Zbatte means beat. So this is zbatte. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, bat, battery, like drum. So now, I have a ladle and I'm gonna be putting it in toilet. You're a jerk. Okay. It looks really good, Liam. Yeah. Thank you. All right, alone at last. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Papa's still here. So right now, we're doing cupcakes. You're probably like, you're doing a Lego cake. Why are you doing cupcakes? So these are gonna be the little, what are they, skillets? What's on top? Stubs. The pegs that interlock with the next block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what these are gonna represent. The fun thing about Funfetti is that in the mix, there's sprinkles. And I discovered last year that I have a sprinkle addiction. Like when I go out for ice cream, you know how you can get like your cone, like your ice cream all covered in sprinkles? Like I do that and then I ask for a cup of sprinkles on the side. So like when you eat the sprinkles off, you can just dunk your cone back in there and you got more sprinkles. And my father actually for my birthday this year got me how many pounds of sprinkles? Three pounds. Three pounds of sprinkles. I have a sprinkle problem. Okay, so I have two pans here filled with the cake mix equally and I'm going to bake them now and I'll show you why to in a second when they're done. So now that everything's baking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and melt all of this white chocolate and show you guys how I'm gonna make the molds for the Lego pieces. They're gonna act as little like accents on the side of the cake, cause it's like, yeah, I made a Lego cake, but like I also went ahead and made these. So like that's very much involved and just fun and I wanted to try it out. All right, so I just melted all the white chocolate into this bowl and I'm going to mix all the colors and make the molds. This is our molds. It looks kind of whack a little bit, but I mean, it's the effort and thought that counts in the end. All right, I'm gonna put this in the freezer and just hope for the best. All right, it's smelling like my cupcakes are done, so I'm gonna take those out now. Also, it was past the live audience's bedtime, so they went to bed, so my father says goodnight. Okay, so I just took the cakes out and I put them in the fridge so they could cool off and stuff so I could like touch them. And then I just checked on my Lego molds and they look done. See, look, I can like bend them and stuff. Look at that. So I'm gonna try to take them out. Oh, they're so cool. This ish is super cool. Super cool. Yes, look at all these colors. These look like Legos. Look how cool these came out. Oh my gosh, you can literally see that they say Lego on them. Okay, hey guys, I just waited for the cakes to cool off, which they did. I already took one out of the pan and put it on this right here. What I'm gonna do is we have to frost the first part, then we're gonna frost the second part, put them on top of each other, make the shape, frost the entire thing, then make the fondant. So I got a lot of work to do. The Funfetti cake frosting comes with like these little sprinkles. So I'm thinking about making the middle layer have all of these in there, like sprinkles, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna take this one and put it on top of that one and then we're gonna frost the whole thing. I feel like the hard part of the baking is done because I hate following directions. And you know how like in cooking, you can kind of do whatever you want? In baking, you have 
in baking, you have to like follow a recipe. And like, I don't like that. Like I'm trying to be creative and that's why the decorating part of baking is my favorite part. So you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make it look like the six leg piece thing. I got tired ever since my live audience left because now I have to kind of like talk to myself. I guess I'm talking to you. I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that. I'm talking to you, not to myself. You and me are like Legos. We just connect. <laughs> If I was a sim, my tired, like my sleep meter would probably be in the reds right now. Now, we're gonna attempt to do the fondant. Now, I've only done fondant once in my life, and it's when I made my brother a uh, Charmander cake. I made the fondant by hand, which I don't recommend. So I only have this amount of blue fondant, and I have this amount of white, so I'm just gonna mix them up. Fondant's very interesting. Oh my gosh, it smells like Play-Doh. Anybody else want to eat Play-Doh when they were little? Okay, so I'm gonna take the fondant and the they're both fondant. I'm gonna take the blue fondant and the white one in. All right, so now I'm just like playing with the fondant. This ish takes a really long time. Fondant is hard. So like you're supposed to make it as large as your cake. So I did this whole part off camera. <sighs> Let me just catch my breath. It's like pizza. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> I just couldn't, it, it looked like a pizza dough. I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to toss it. Fondant, I'm not very fond of you. Okay, I think I'm ready for the fondant to go over the cake. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do it. We're just doing it, we're doing it. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I already see a hole and I'm stressed. This looks so stupid. It looks not good in person and I want it to look better in person than on camera. I don't want it to be like a catfish cake, you know what I mean? It's too thin. It looks so stupid. It looks really bad. What is it? Oh, the Lego camera. Does it look really bad? It doesn't look perfect. I don't want to lie to you. I'm very upset. I hate it. I have to take it all off. Well, guess what? I love you. Oh. I want to cry. This is so bad. I don't even think I have enough to make more. What are you doing? I, it looks terrible. This is really cool. I'm really upset. I hate fondant. Get some sleep. No. Back to square one. It's gonna have to be red. I have to make a different color. There's no other way. Can you actually just help me with this? Because you're strong. Please, you're strong. This is all you need. Yeah. My arms were hurting so bad. That's a lot. The Lego red is red. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> no, okay. Oh! Ready? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Put your mind up, put your mind up, put your mind up. God, Juliana. I should redo this. Still a piece of garbage. I want to cry. It's morning and I've got more fondant. Last night I literally had a nightmare about fondant. Like where I was like sinking. Like it was almost like quicksand, but like the quicksand was fondant. I almost was like, I'm not gonna put this video out. I'm embarrassed because like it didn't come out perfect or I'm just not gonna make this cake. I'll probably just buy one, but no, that's not the way things work around here. I am very much convinced that if you let something that stopped you actually stop you, like you don't try to learn from it and like tackle it, then you're weak. And I for one am not weak. I'm gonna make this Lego cake if it's the last thing I do. So right now I'm just making more fondant. I need to add more blue because they only have light blue. So I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Right now, I feel like I need a sweatband or something because this ish is just, oh, I hate fondant. All right, so this time around, I cut it precisely, how the cake looks. I 
also took all the cupcakes off the top of the cake because I felt like that's what was holding me back. Like there was all those crevices and just, it wasn't gonna look seamless. And I, my siblings looked at the cake and they're like, why don't we just take the cupcakes off? This was actually Bianca's idea. Thank you so much, Bianca. If this works, I'm taking you to dinner. All right, so I'm just gonna lay the fondant over the rectangle cake and then I'm gonna use some of this leftover blue fondant and I'm gonna cover each individual cupcake and then put those on the cake so it's more seamless. All right, fondant, be on my side now. Come on, fondant gods, be with me. I'm thinking of one song right now. It's pretty mainstream, but doing this makes me think of this song. Okay, you have five seconds to guess what song's in my head right now. If you win, I owe you $100. Ready? Go, set timer. All right, time's up. The song I was thinking of was... I'm in love with the shape of you. Get it? Because I'm like shaping the cake. Okay, next I'm gonna take this cutter, this fondant cutter, and I'm gonna cut the remaining fondant off the sides. Take that fondant. I don't play by your rules anymore. See, and then I'm just gonna use the leftover fondant to cover my cupcakes so that it's not this whole like mess that I had going on like yesterday. I can't believe how much stress this fondant gave me. This was like fondant's epic fails. Hopefully this comes out good. If it doesn't, I'm going to throw this cake off a cliff. I'm just sick of saying fondant. Like fondant, fondant. I'm gonna take these little clamper guys and I'm gonna take one of my cupcakes. Is this wrong? Oh, this makes sense. We're just gonna make a little square like it's ravioli. So I'm literally like shaping it like a dumpling. See, this is the cupcake in there. And I'm gonna cut some of the excess fondant off. Fondant. I'm thinking I put a toothpick in here like that and then we're gonna put it in like this. Now let's do it for the remaining of these cupcakes. Third time's a charm, come on. Come on, fondant cake, figure it out. Fondant, I'm gonna make you my best friend. Because you shouldn't hate anyone. You should only love them. And if you have strong negative feelings towards someone, that means you should send them even more good energy. You should just love them even more because they need love, you know? This fondant needs to stop picking on me. Figure it out, fondant. Figure it out. So all of our little knobs are on. It looks like a Lego. I'm happy with this. I feel good about it. I would put my name on this. Okay, now I have my little Lego pieces for like pizzazz. So it's like, oh, like she also made the Lego pieces. That's pretty dope. If there's anything we've learned on this first pilot episode of Big Magi, it's that you can't expect things to go exactly your way. You can't expect things to go perfectly all the time. Because that's just not realistic. And I'm going for realistic. You know, like I messed up. But it's okay because I didn't give up. And that's why I like baking and like creating things because it really shows your character. And there you have it, the Lego cake. That almost ruined my life. <laughs> I know this isn't a real Lego, but like if it was, this is the kind of Lego that you don't step on. It steps on you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very epic journey of creating a Lego cake. It didn't go perfect. It really didn't. And that's the reality of life. Nothing's ever gonna go perfect, especially on social media, YouTube, like things don't go perfect. And the point of this video was to show you that this took three tries and I almost gave up and just didn't want to put this video out but here I am because I want to be as genuine as I can be genuine with a capital G and show you that sometimes it's okay when things don't go right because you can create something beautiful but I still hate fondant all right thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you on the next cooking what is this oh it's baking with G we'll see you on the next baking with G bye <laughs>